Myself, Dr. Alpna Sharma, I am Senior Assistant Professor at uh, SS Jain Subodh Law College, Jaipur. Uh, now, I am going to teach you regarding theories of labor welfare. They are different approaches and the objective of labor welfare is to mitigate the evil effects of industrialization. By providing facilities and amenities, one may improve the efficiency and productivity of labor. The employers gain prosperity and improvement of their organization and these theories reveals the philosophy behind labor welfare. Right? Theories of uh, labor welfare, there are uh, seven theories. First theory is the policing theory of labor welfare, then the religion theory, then philanthropic theory, paternalistic theory and placating theory, public relations theory and functional theory. The policing theory, this is the first theory. The theory is basically meant for making the employees and workers availed with the basic facilities needed. For example, drinking water, enough rest and lunch intervals, etc. In this approach, the government has introduced the practices to control the exploitation of workers by their employer. For example, heavy workload and less payment, very small time intervals, etc. In case of non-completion of the above, the management is liable to get a severe punishment. So, these all labor welfares are based on uh, institutes which are made by the state. Then we take up the next theory that is the religious theory. This theory believes in two key approaches. First one is the investment, the second is the atonement. Uh, which means punishment theory. The investment theory explains the welfare benefits provided to worker is the current investment made for future progress and the punishment approach says if the workers are not getting the benefits, it is a part of their sins in the past and they need to be punished for that. Then next the philanthropic theory, this is a benevolent approach which has a keen interest in giving strategy. The provisions for good conditions of work, day care facilities for children that is crutches, canteens and washing facilities in regard to the employees, then rehabilitation of uh, disabled people, then working boys and girls hostel facilities and providing donations to NGOs and giving rewards to the educational institutions etcetera are the examples of philanthropic theory. This theory is only encouraged for the well-being of the internal and external environment. Next theory is the paternalistic theory. Uh, in this theory, the owner, occupier or the employer holds the funds of the industry in a trust. This theory is uh, basically based on Gandhiji's trusteeship theory. Uh, this trust consists of uh, board or trust members and any amount to be spent in favor of the employees and the society is first being taken in discussion. It creates a good moral for the internal and external environment. It is also known as the trusteeship theory of labor welfare. The next theory is the placating theory. This theory mainly responds to the peaceful measures applicable for the workers and employees. Application of this theory is basically meant for the organized and committable enthusiastics. This theory enables the employees to be pleased and obliged with the provided welfare benefits and the welfare benefits are provided by the employer and organization in which they are working. Then 
we come to the public relations theory. This theory basically focuses on the attraction or goodwill of the industry, uh, which is created by uh, if the employer provides welfare facilities to the worker, workers are satisfied and it reflects in the society also. So, this theory basically focuses on the attraction or goodwill of the industry, which is enhanced by the welfare work, which is being done by the organization. In this theory, the welfare benefits are directly related to the impression of this industry in the society. Impression with the point of view of internal and external environment. For example, the in-house employees and the vis visitors too. That means, the visitors who visits the particular organization, they look into the welfare measures which are being taken by the employer or management, they are impressed and in turn they reflect that uh, positive uh, approach of the employer in the society. Then the functional theory, uh, this theory believes in high productivity or outcome of employees by providing them the welfare benefits. Actually, we can say that uh, employers uh, or the laborers are considered to be the operative part of any organization. When they work in that organization, they are like machines. So, uh, if the machines work smoothly, likewise the employees are also like machine if they uh, work smoothly in that uh, environment, they may act most efficiently and effectively in their work that and that is in turn enhances the productivity of that organization. Then this approach expects the results in the workers efficiency and effectiveness on work. This concept is commonly used in nature. This theory is also known as the efficiency theory of labor welfare. Then we come to the conclusion that uh, the above theories which has been described above, the basis of these uh, all theories are the basis of the labor welfare. We, when we talk about uh, India, our country, the best remedial measure would be to cling to functional approach by which employees would plan willingly for labor welfare and workers would uh, render their services effectively, which only may produce the desired results. So, if in any uh, organization, the workers are the key point which are to be uh, keep happy, so that they can work uh, efficiently, uh, they can put their efforts in whatever job they are assigned to and then only they will produce the desired results. One theory may be substituted uh, for another with the changing circumstances. Uh, in India, actually when we talk about uh, particularly India, the and uh, we, when we uh, keep this uh, uh, analysis of different theories, different approaches towards labor welfare, it do not suggest that one theory is exclusively good or superior, but it uh, is possible that in the policies of employer two or more approaches can be discovered to be combined to get the best result out of this theory. Thank you.